thank you deepak for uh, having us here and i was uh, i mean we have the secretary here and dr rajeshina treasurer and myself and i think all of us here but the pgs are not here so i hope uh, we, we have to improve this i don't know how to do that the postgraduate ophthalmic teaching curriculum in india where are we so so residency training is the basis of good clinical and surgical practice and various countries and regulatory associations have given considerable thought to make it more valid and comprehensive so as to have the future generation of medical specialists better equipped to deliver the optimum care to the community the medical council of india and the national board of examination for the diplomat of the national board have their own guidelines for better postgraduate training and articles from the indian journal of ophthalmology say the hard infrastructures are in place but perhaps not the soft skills and the purpose is to standardize ophthalmology teaching at postgraduate level so it will achieve uniformity in postgraduate teaching and train competent ophthalmic surgeons with appropriate expertise adequate current knowledge of the subject with sufficient diagnostic and surgical skills good knowledge of blindness control program to help eradicate blindness from our country and i think uh, recently i learned a lot when i became a, i am also an dnb examiner and a, a postgraduate examiner but uh, this time i became a frcs examiner and i found the they they have a training for the examiners how to examine the candidate and they also train that you have you cannot uh, intimidate the candidate the candidate should be uh, made comfortable and make sure that you ask the relevant question and they also have a, a leading question and a second question following that and also the answers are given and the, what to expect so that everything is Uh, done objectively on and uh, not subjectively and even the timing is perfect where they feel given 6 minutes for one patient and then second examiner gets only next 6 minutes like that they have eight examiners and for the oral again everything is uh, prescribed so i think uh, the you ex- india we have a problem where uh, training uh, schedule is different between dnb and the ms ophthalmology and the diploma in ophthalmology and also the way the examiners examine because it depends on the time mood and uh, and how the candidate answers uh, it's not standardized but i hope that will happen but nevertheless the clinical postgraduate training program is intended at developing in the student a blend of qualities of a clinical specialist a teacher a researcher and a surgeon and is he safe to operate your kit and kin i think if you train a person you should have the confidence that person can handle our own or uh, the teacher or the family then i think we have done a good training and the qualities knowledge and skills a postgraduate should possess resident should possess basic knowledge of uh, the structure function and uh, development of the human body uh, as related to ophthalmology and of the factors which may disturb these the mechanism of such disturbances and the disorders of structure and function which may result the resident should be able to practice and handle most day to day ophthalmic problem independently should recognize the limitations of his clinical knowledge and know when to seek further help and i think it's important like uh, i always tell this to my post graduates even if you see a football match uh, or a cricket match i think the there's a coach and usually they put all all the 11 uh, football players uh, together pray pray together and also the coach gives the last minute guidance for a minute and i think uh, the post graduate training also has to be the same and i think opd or surgery and that's what i suggest uh, every, every time to read the last chapter of the book microvitre surgery by steve charles which explains the surgical self education so analyze uh, each one how many surgeries you have done and are you good in this step if you are not good seek help so that you sharpen the skill and then develop a better skill to best for uh, every postgraduate patient should be the uh, most important person the patient should be like god so that you don't do anything which will not uh, do to your own kith and kin so uh, that i uh, think self uh, introspection should be there for the post graduate also and also the teacher just because you are learning you are not allowed to do it but if it happens you also should take help to correct it residents should understand the effect of environment on health and be familiar with epidemiology and common 
disease in the field of ophthalmology. He, she should be able to integrate the preventive and promotive methods with the curative and rehabilitative measures in the treatment of disease. Residents should be able to integrate the preventive and promotive methods with the, uh, the uh, residents should be familiar with the current developments in uh, ophthalmic sciences and residents should be able to plan educational programs in ophthalmology in association with senior colleagues and be familiar with modern methods of teaching and evaluation. If you, I always tell this, if you teach, you'll remember better and if you share your skills, I think you'll get more. So you give more to your students and I think uh, you get more. So even if you're a postgraduate, you're a senior postgraduate, give to the junior postgraduate and the junior one to give to the one who's fresh up. And residents should be able to identify a problem for research of a clinical experimental nature, clearly state the objective, plan a rational approach to its solution, execute it, and critically evaluate the data in the light of existing knowledge. Residents should know that conclusion should be reached by logical deduction. He, she should be able to assess evidence both as to its reliability and its uh, relevance. Residents should have basic knowledge of medical legal aspects of medicine and the fundamental components of teaching program should include case presentation, discussion, seminar, journal club, grand round presentation by rotation of departments and subspecialties, faculty lecture, uh, teaching, clinical audit, a poster and I have one oral presentation at least once during the training period in a recognized conference. And this is a, a, a paper uh, published by Dr. Parikshit Gokte about uh, the residency evaluation and adherence design study, young ophthalmologists' perception of their residency program. I think it's a unique thing to say about the clinical and surgical skills conducted a survey of uh, cl clinical and surgical skills acquired during postgraduate training. The American Academy of Ophthalmology has adopted the six core competency curriculum for better residency training. Indian education system still works on the Gurukul model in which the person learns from the master. The teaching is person dependent. There's a huge diversity in clinical and surgical skills taught to residents. This highlights the extreme variability of ophthalmology training in India. Some had absolutely no exposure to most equipment and hardly performed any independent surgery, while others were trained to become competent and comprehensive ophthalmologists. Many basic procedures like slit lamp examination, A scan, ophthalmoscopy, uh, and majority uh, were taught well to the majority of resident students, but some basic clinical skills such as refraction, orthoptic evaluation, diplopia charting, synaptor 4, and pediatric visual acuity testing not ad adequately taught. Diagnostic modalities, and I think it goes for uh, like uh, whatever you know, I think we should uh, teach them. And I think, uh, see, the main thing will be to, uh, they have to make sure that every patient is uh, li like God. And I think uh, whatever they do, they should be able to uh, do best for the patient. This Sivachandran et al. studied trends in subspecialty training by Canadian ophthalmology graduates for the past 25 years and found that 63.5% pursued fellowship training with males and females equally likely to pursue vitreoretal surgery, 24.5%, glaucoma in 16, and anterior segment 16 were the most popular choices. And residents in India varies considerably, and uh, I, th I take this opportunity to thank Dr. Deepak for uh, having invited me here. Thank you.